<laughs> this is the largest primary school in the country with 4,700 kids and therefore they require a little bit of special attention. The second point is that it is within the slums, so we are, we are going to give it a little bit more support in terms of uh, ensuring that the children uh, are being taught. But you have, I think you went into the classroom. Apart from overcrowding, everything else is normal. Every child is properly masked. Most of those masks, ma 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 masks they are wearing were provided by the government of the Republic of Kenya, together with our collaborators. Uh, in terms of ensuring that we don't have a, a crisis here, even though we had already delivered the economic stimulus package desks, I have decided, because I think the President gave me those powers, to vary one or two things, that we shall give another 140 desks to this school. I am going to pick some of the desks which were ready, which were meant for another school, which may not be having a very tight problem like this. 70 of them will be here today, and during the course of the week, a balance of 70 will have been fabricated and brought. Then we shall fabricate and uh, take to the other person that I was talking to. Otherwise, you have seen with your eyes that if we work together, the spirit, you, when you look at the spirit of, the body and spirit of the teacher, the body and spirit of the children, do they require encouragement or discouragement? Let us encourage them. That's all I can say for now. We, we may not be perfect. There are very many children here. If water becomes a problem, we are on standby to ensure that they have water so that they are able to wash their hands when they come out. And uh, I think that's all. This school will not be available because you can see for yourself that it's 7,000, it's 4,700. So the, 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 this one, even though it is popular, it's not likely that they'll take many children. There are many other schools around that we will make sure the children go to. You can see for yourself that I've, I've ordered a variation of shifting of desks, which we are supposed to go to another school this morning to come here. And I will then go to the school where the desks were supposed to go so that I, I am fair to those children also to be sure that they, their pressure is not as much as the one here. Yes. Your question is not fair because when we demolish uh, uh, the, the, the building of the, of the parents, it is the parent's duty to bring the child to school. If a child is brought here and there is space, we shall take. If there is no space, my people, where, where is the sub county director of education? We have somebody who is here who will ensure by constitution that that child is admitted where there is a vacancy. We are trying to avoid a situation where a popular school like this one is overrun by children so that some of them can sit down. So you don't have to worry unless you have a specific case. If you give us details, we shall go to where the rubber meets the ground. I think uh, because what you're asking is, a, is basically a story. It is one of those stories people talk about. So, so, so if, you, if you have a child who has gone to a government school and cannot be placed in that school and another one, then tell us and we shall act. I must go now because I want to ensure that the desks are brought here and that uh, I also go to placate the other school. We have to do all this together because you don't even have to reach me. You as a journalist, if you know somebody, you can direct the child.